Okay, we're gonna see P two. Um, Simon. So we're, gonna, we're gonna see a lot of uh, a lot of Squirtle as opposed to uh, <laughs> Ivy and Charizard. Yes. Let's see. We're gonna see a lot, a lot of Squirtle, which is gonna be interesting because you usually don't see that. Yeah, we usually see some Zards. As these characters are Pokemon, we're gonna start Pokemon City in uh, two first. Yes, Belmont's a Pokemon. I don't make the rules. Ooh. Sting Rise from Flitters. And Falcon off to a good start here with all these items. Getting in the squirrel's face and just hitting them. But this. Okay, I was about to say, he died there. <laughs> be very yeah. sad. Uh, Belmont's biggest weaknesses is. The inability to really recover. Uh, Belmont's are pretty exploitable off stage. Uh, where Belmont's kind of thrive are near the edges. Like when they're doing frame taps, they can do like forward air, like F tilt, it's like incredibly oh. safe. That was almost nasty. Uh, oh, caught him on the switch, but he's heavy enough to survive that. Yeah, good decision to switch to Zard. Doesn't quite space well enough. Yeah, as soon as the Zard here, even though they're gonna like survive a lot better, um, along with that, they're also able to, to sort of bring in a in a comeback. And a couple of hits can lead to their death, but that one up be out of shield takes the first stock for Dark Falcon. They're back to set up in a little wall. Yeah, he catches the flame, but uses it immediately. Ooh, nice forward tilt. That was a good parry, but nothing off of it. Yeah, I like the, the pressure on shield from Noku. And Noku's covering a lot. He's just he's pushing him off stage, but after that, it's just not much. This Dark Falcon is still alive, still with the rage. Mid stage, right off stage. Plus him off stage. I can be much once again. So again, I had to switch there for the kill. The Nair. Oh, falls in. Take him off. Okay, oh. that little confirmed though is good. Which is Charizard. Back to Squirtle. Good, good. Good decision. I don't want to be a big target. Oh, this is bad. Back to good again for Noku as they're getting the hits in. Black? I like that. Okay. Like Noku's ability to just. Dash around, crouch, the low profile, all of these hits. That said, though, Dark Falcon putting on the pressure. Oh, no kill. Also, that was a little weird, it, like, interaction. Like, I didn't notice that, like, how further that that holy water went. Like, it just canceled and stopped completely. Like, the fire didn't even come out. It just yeah. hit Goku and just, like, completely disappeared. That was really interesting. Yeah, I guess it probably depends on how far you throw it. Most likely. Right. Oh, tilt the cover a little bit. Just a little burst off from that uh, down tilt just to push him off. Now down the other side. The stage. Back air nice, pressure. Nice dash back to Dark Falcon. Alright, back to the roll completely. Noko is somewhat giving away his uh, leads off these. Uh, Throws. But they're still surviving though, because Charizard's heavy. And they died to that ledge setup. Mm-hmm. Pressure off stage, stage once Pressing again. Arrow. Doesn't quite get anything. They try to fight through. Holy water and crosses being tossed about. I think that was meant to be an up air off of the razor leaf. They really need this confirm right now. Take the stock. Has to switch to Charizard here. This is a bigger target to get hit by all of Belmont's moves. The back air comes in. Coming in clutch. Dark Falcon is doing a really good job of walling Noku out. Not even like these edge guard attempts are working out for Noku. So long. Ooh. Ooh. Not only did they 
get more rage for themselves, they actually can end up getting hit by the axe. Didn't die though, because they're heavy. I'll throw a fourth throw. Yeah, that's right. it. Cool, that works too. Alright, Dirk Falcon has to be careful here. Oh, that was almost nasty. You saw how close that fire hit him? Yeah. Back air. Oh. It's very Ooh, rough back enough for the comeback so on. Range. Oh, they have to go super deep, but it's like still living. They're still Not huge. Quite. Oh, oh. They no jump. Really unfortunate for no cover. Cool. Fast fell too much. Trying so hard to avoid these axes that they ended up just falling to their deaths. Belmont's in their most favorite spot on the stage, just chucking stuff. It's really right hard in that to deal corner. With. Yeah. Take this. Take take this. <laughs> It's really rough to deal with. It's an axe to holy water. Whatever they want. It's like pick your poison. One of them's gonna kill you. <laughs> it's really unfortunate for Noku as they tried to like kill him off stage like that, but it just wasn't working out. Like Dark Falcon would uh, escape by the skin of their teeth every time. Get right, right back on stage and uh, maintain and just return control back to themselves. Now we're gonna go back to X2. X2 again. Um, I'm gonna be expecting a lot more dashing tilts from Dark Falcon to combat a lot of those uh, low profile issues. Because a lot of the time when Dark Falcon go for like back here for the air, it was good. I'm expecting a lot more dashing Ooh, tilts. Ooh, that was really good. That was really Ooh. good. Ooh! Nice off stage. Okay, no. Good air dodge. Catches, didn't catch the high recovery, but still sends him off the stage. This is very good pressure from Noku. But. Misses again, and Dark Falcon's back on his favorite spot. We said back to neutral, and now... And Noku's like stuck at Ivy's here for a bit here. I'm trying to raise his way through all this... All these Belmont items. It's a B out of shield. The cross, the fire, the axe. It's all over the place. <laughs> So it's good on Dark Falcon to come off his little straight hits off his items too. Ooh, up so right. down so much. Seeing the sword. Ooh. Send him upward too, but he's a kill. Alright. Very good pressure. That's Ooh, tilt? tilt? Yeah. Yes. Tipper forward tilt. That fire on the on the platform right there is really good coverage. Oh. This is the tech, but still lives. Oh, that smash. That down smash. Smash. I think the down smash got like a slight buff at some point. I don't know if it was percent phase or knockback phase, but I am noticing that Belmont are going for that first hit down smash a lot more. Good low nice confirm from Noku. Noku probably has to switch again to Squirtle. Alright. It's hit by the holy water. This is that forward tilt. Legs is being covered again. Very rough. Alright, yeah. Third Falcon going from platform to platform. Does not want to get hit by one up air. Oh, that was a nice, nice combo. I thought he was going to do up B from that, but he just did. Let me do uh, up air. Make it look fancy. Very nice from Dark Falcon. As they take that stock. By the pressure. Squirtle. And yeah, Noku probably has to apply some like some dash blocking here. Like whenever they see that fire, they have to like find the way to grab it or or like right. Oh, oh my god, that was one of the most beautiful Belmont socks I've ever seen. This is a massive Belmont. Pressure. That was ridiculous. Crazy. Look at that. Yeah, this is. Bam. This looks very rough for Noku, actually. Like, yeah, this Belmont Holy covered water, everything. Hit back! Oh, the, mm. <laughs> hit right in his ear. Oh, barely oh. hit his ear, but like, I guess that's how hitboxes work. Look at that! Look, that was ridiculous. This Belmont, it's pretty good. <laughs> Like they, they spaced well, they, they put their moves in the right spots, covered everything. 
Now, one thing about like Belmonts that I realized is that they, they don't really throw as often. They like they, they have their items and their buttons like do the work. Yeah, so, like, yeah. So that's why like I suggested the the dash blocking method just to see if they can probably run in there and like then play like the, the RPS of who's gonna act out of shield first. But it's very right. rough just to get in on that too, because especially when you're down. <laughs> 